Juicy people, here it is, the ultimate veggie breakfast shake. It has all the big guns of nutrition, and what a way to start your day. If you kick it off well, the chances are it's gonna carry on in a good vein. This has vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids, amino acids, phytonutrients, antioxidants. You know it's gonna be a good day when you kick off with this. It's the first time you're juicing, and you're looking at this, you're going, that's never gonna keep me going. You know, I need my toast, I need my cereal, and you think there's no way this can satisfy me. Try this on for size, I guarantee you, even at lunchtime, you're still gonna be feeling full. Most people are overfed and undernourished anyway, and this feeds you on a cellular level. So what do we need? Very simple, two apples, always needed. Soluble fiber in the juice. Cucumber, you need that, natural diuretic. Get things moving first thing in the morning. Flush the system out. Broccoli, always add a little bit of broccoli. We've just got like an inch of broccoli here. If you want a bit more of the stem, feel free to put it in. Celery, we've got, again, powerhouse of nutrition. Carrots going in, they call it the mineral king when it comes to carrots. Courgette or zucchini, just get a nice little chunk in there. We've also got lime, we want the vitamin C, we want a little zest. And also we've got spinach, we've got that green chlorophyll goodness going in. And I've also added in some bell pepper. It says half, but to be honest, it's so, if you're getting into this for the first time, it's so potent that I would just go a quarter. I'd take the other half to get rid of it and I would just have the quarter going in there. We're gonna juice virtually all of this except the avocado. So let's crack on straight away. Gonna start with the apple. And again, if you're getting into juicing for the first time and you don't have a cold press juicer and you're using a fast juicer, most people are, but you wanna wedge, if you will, the spinach in between an apple if you're using and same with the broccoli, if you're using a fast juicer and then you just push it all in. I'm getting the lime in there as well, I'm getting everything going. Getting the cucumber going in, putting the courgette in there as well, or zucchini, the bell peppers going in. And here's what I do with the celery, with this particular juice, if you've got one of these, is that it kind of acts by itself. You let it grab hold, you push it down, let it grab, and then there it is, it's starting to juice and chunk away by itself. We then just allow, open that up, Allow that beautiful live raw juice to come out. I'm gonna put the carrots in. Say carrots are king. Now the challenge is aesthetic should play a part, but sometimes when you mix fresh extracted carrot juice with the greens going in, especially spinach, it can turn it a little bit brown. That's why I haven't put too much spinach going in. Allow that to continue. Actually, what you sometimes do is leave that carry on while you get your blender and then you just add the avocado. Half a medium avocado, I would say, to put in. Feel free to put a large one if you're feeling particularly hungry. It's the good fats. You see, these fats help to regulate the appetite. Now we're gonna add a little bit of ice. I just like to do that. I like to cool it down a little bit as well. It stretches it, makes it go a little bit further as well, which is always nice. And now we're gonna pour all of that juice. I said it would look a little bit, but not as sharp green sometimes as you would look for. That's because we've added the carrots. But they're so mineral rich. Carrot juice is king, amongst all else. Turn upside down. Quick blend. Beautiful. Do it there. Oh man, this looks really nice. It's rich, it's creamy. It's just, it's not too thick, which is really nice. And you'll realize that this makes quite a lot. Carrots are different sizes, apples are different sizes, depending on where you get them from. So the volume will always be slightly different. We want to be organic in our juicing, of course we do. Equally, we want to be intelligent in our juicing in terms of if it has made that amount, it doesn't mean you have to drink it. Listen to your body as well. And normally about a glass, 420 to 500 mils is really breakfast. That's what you're kind of looking for, but drink it slowly. Mm. Despite all the veggies, and I personally, I'm really glad I've cut down on the bell pepper. But you know, you've got the, the lime in there that gives it the zing, that's what you're looking for, that little something going on in the vitamin C content. And of course, you've got the apple that's sweetening everything else up. It's just, it's rich, it's creamy, it's delicious. It is mm, oh, a great way to start the day. There's no way you're gonna start your day with the ultimate veggie breakfast shake and regret having that for breakfast. In fact, you're gonna be quite smug and tell everybody for the rest of the day, hey, guess what I had for breakfast? Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, more of the same over here. Latest video over here. Don't forget to subscribe and to like, and please share what you see.